Injil is corrupted. That's what Muhammad said. So why he's copying the people of the Torah and the you know, no, let me finish. Yes, and yes. how can a how can a person of God yeah, yeah. who claims he's the last prophet of God copy pagans? Okay. It's not haram, you know, it's not forbidden. No, but but what you shouldn't do as a Muslim is you shouldn't do the bad things they do. But the normal things is alright, no problem. But also Muhammad said that do not behave like Jews and Christians. Abraham was a pagan. The, the Arabs, they are the descendants of Abraham. No, no, my brother. Abraham is a Muslim, you said, no? Yes, He's a Muslim or a pagan? No, no, I'm not a Muslim. The other day I was reading a hadith and in that hadith it says that Muhammad copied the dressing style of Jews and Christians and also pagans yes, yes, yes. and the hairstyle the is that a bad thing is that a bad thing so how can it's the god thing so how can you copy can't look read. he can't read no but i can read it's in your he, books he can't read how can he copy no by seeing my brother seeing imitating seeing. yeah because that time the jews and the christians he, were present he doesn't know that islam considered judaism and christianity the religion of the prophets religion from god Okay. There is you truth. Know no, no. You know Arius. No, no. Arius. No, no. Wait, wait. I'm talking to you. Yeah. There is truth in Christianity and Judaism from God. So you believe Christianity is true? There is truth. It's it's from God. Yes. We don't say it's not from God. Okay. That's why we believe in Jesus. That's why we believe in the gospel. No, brother. You believe in you don't believe in the gospels because according to the gospel, Jesus is God. Okay. Not really. Yes. I read the gospel. It doesn't say. Have Jesus you read is God. John one one? John 1 1. What does it say? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. The Word Jesus was with God. Yes, yeah. that's true. Yeah. yeah. And, and it says the Word became flesh. The Word was God, and the Word became flesh. But you have. It says the Word was with God. Right? Yeah. yeah. So there is. So there. No, it says the word was with God. So there is God and there is a word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The word become flesh. No, no. It says the word was with God and the word was God. Should you want me to open Make it? Make your mind up, my friend. No, no, no. Was I'll it with God? Was it with God? No, no. You're I, with me. Are you can me? I can I explain you? No, no. I will explain you. Okay. So if you're speaking to me, suppose uh, I'm speaking to you. If I speak to you good way, you will say I am a good person. Yes. Or you will say my words are good. But you're not your word. No, no. So I'm giving an example. I'm not my word. I'm not my word. If if I give you bad words, for example, huh, you may slap me. And if I, if you slap me, I say to you, why did you slap me? I didn't say bad words to you. It was my words who said bad words to you. So my point is, you will say to me, your words represents you. Okay. Yeah. So if I say something bad, some people may slap me. Okay. They'll slap me, not my word. Because my word represents me. If I say speak good to you, you will respect me. If I say bad to you, you will respect. So my words represent me. Okay. The same way God's words represents God's. Okay. Okay. So my point is, my brother, your words represent you how you are. Okay. So if Jesus is the word of God, Jesus is representing God. Yes. He's, and me and my words are myself. You and your words are one, not two different persons. So that is my point. John 1 1 says, in the beginning, the word was with God and the word was God. So that's why. It is in the Islam says, Kalimatullah and Ruhallah. Isa. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that's one of my point, my brother. Word of God is not separate. It's God Himself because it's the words of God. And that word became flesh. That's what we Christians believe. So I, I want to show you a hadith. Sorry. So if you can explain. So are you saying that God became the word? The word of God became a man. No, no. God himself became the word. Yeah. And then that word became Jesus. Yeah, that big one. So now that Jesus, when Jesus was here, was was God there? Yeah. Because the word of God. So how did? How, but you said God, God became the word. No, no. The word of God became man. So the word of God is not God. So I'll so explain you. Have two you. Gods no, no. I will explain you. You have two entities. No, 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 no. I will explain you. If someone cut my hand, my hand is separate from you. Is it hand belongs to me? Belongs to you. Yeah. yeah. So the word of God got separated from God. So it doesn't mean that it's not God. Yeah, Jesus belongs to God. 
Jesus is the word of God and Jesus is God, my brother. Just now. He is God. Because so my hand is me. Your hand is not you? Not who's, really, no, no. So whose hand it is? If it's not you. I could live without my hand. Yes, you can live. But is your hand you or no? My friend, why are you complicated? No, it's not complicated, my brother. That's what we have to think. You are, you are a very nice person. I have seen you. I have seen your videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like you, you debate very decently, not like other people. Oh, that is why I want to conversation with you. Yeah. Sure, sure. Because if we use, because even I was having the same problem. But when I started researching, how can the word become God? And uh, so you know, you have to study, my brother. So that's why I gave you example. If someone cuts your hand, e even if it is separated, that hard hand is yours. Word. Hey brother, I kind of can't understand what you're saying. No, no, he wants to, he wants to know. <laughs> I'm just joking. He wants to know when people leave yeah, here. I'm just joking, yeah, sorry. What's your name, brother? My name is Saeed. Saeed? Saeed, yeah. Okay. Saeed, what I was reading, the other day I was reading the... Yeah, I saw your dress and yeah. that's why I asked you questions. See, you know? This dress, yeah, yeah. the heading, yeah. it's from Sahih al-Bukhari 5917. The Prophet used to copy the people of the scripture, yes. that is Jews and Christians. Yeah. Yeah? In matter in which there was no order from Allah. The people of the scripture used to let their hairs hang down, yeah. while the pagan used to part their hairs. Yeah. So the Prophet let his hair hang down first, but later on parted it. So what I was thinking that Muhammad he copied Jews, Christians and so, pagans. So what, what does it say? Yeah. Oh, you want to read? You can read it. The polytheists, what they used to do? Part, no, part, pagan, pa pagans, part pagans. the hairs, part oh, the hairs. Okay, okay. okay. So what I was thinking, uh, if if a man claims that he is the prophet of God, and which and you say that Torah is not, it's corrupted. Yeah, yeah. Injil is corrupted. Yeah, yeah. That's what Muhammad said. Yeah, yeah. So why he's copying the people of the Torah and the Torah? Then let me finish. Yes, and yes. How, can a, how can a person of God, yeah, yeah. who claims he's the last prophet of God, copy pagans? Okay. Does it make sense? It's, uh, you know, pagans, they invented the cars and hey. they drive cars. But car is not my faith, my brother. I'm talking about the faith. So if I drive a car, am I copying them? No, no, no. The car. Listen. It's only hair, you know. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, but if I'm driving, you gave an example. I'm car. If I'm using the car, I should, I should believe in that car. Yeah, I believe in the car. That's why I buy the car. My but friend. if you don't believe in the gospel, or you don't believe in the Torah, or you don't believe in Jews and Christians, yes. how can you copy them? L look. Do you know? I don't have problem that Muhammad copying Jews and Christians. Okay. But how can he copy you know pagan? What? Pagan. Pagan. Pa pagan. Pagan means you know. Because he's not stone worshiper. He's not copying them in religion. He's saying here. Yeah. No, no, it's not in religion. Yeah. How you cut your hair is not is not part of the religion. The dressing style. He says dressing yeah, style. It doesn't really matter, you know. It's so he can copy. So, yeah, yeah. As long as it's normal. Okay. It's modest. It's no. Not, it's not haram, you know. It's not forbidden. No, but but. What you shouldn't do as a Muslim is you shouldn't do the bad things they do. But the normal things is alright, no problem. But also Muhammad said that do not behave like Jews and Christians. Don't act like them. Don't behave like Jews and Christians, he said. So if he's saying that don't believe in Jews and Christians, how can you copy their dress? Look, what he's saying is, you know the Jews, the Jews and the Christians, they, they, some of their practices are from God and, and from religion, but some is from their own sem them, their own selves. They like social, their own social habits, their culture, their own culture, not religious. So the Prophet say, copy them in what is came from God, but don't copy them in their own culture. No, he doesn't say in the hadith. Basically, that's what he's saying. You know? But he doesn't say in the hadith. That's what he's saying. But Okay, but what, what am I saying is that if a man can copy Jews and Christians' dresses and pagan hairstyle, is there any chance that he can copy their religion? No, no, no. no. Why not? Why not? Look, Islam's position is there is truth in every religion. No, no. I'm asking you a general question. Suppose if today I copy, uh, if I take if it's a pound... From God, yes. No, no. Because brother, even these polytheists, 
Not everything they have is wrong. No, you're not getting my point. You're not getting my point. If I take a five pound note from your, I steal a five pound note from your yeah. dress, okay? Yeah, yeah. Is there any chance that tomorrow I will do the same thing or tomorrow I will steal more money? There is a chance. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. So if Muhammad can copy the dressing style yeah, of yeah. Jews, Christian and pagan, yeah. why can't he copy their God concept, their uh, characters in their books? Allah tell him what to do. How do you know? Yeah, it's, he, so if Allah was Allah, the he's a prophet. So he, Allah was the guide of him, na? Yeah, so, yeah. Yes, I believe. Okay, you said that Allah is the guide of guide of Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then why he need the guidance from Jews, Christians, and uh, pagans? Because Allah in the Quran said to him, follow the prophets and their followers. But pagans don't have any prophets. No, there is some. No, they follow Abraham. Huh? They follow Abraham. No, which pagan? Yeah, the Arab pagan. Pagans. Yeah. The, what, what do you think Hajj is? So it's a pagan thing. No, Hajj is from Ibrahim. Abraham, so Abraham was a pagan. The, the Arabs, they are the descendants of Ibrahim. No, no, my brother. Abraham is a Muslim, you said, no? Yes, He's a Muslim or a pagan? No, no. Look, you have to listen to me to understand. Yeah, I, 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 Look, Abraham, Hajj come from Ibrahim. I know that. Abraham was a Muslim so, or a pagan? Muslim. Okay. So how can the Abraham's follower be pagan? Because they are the descendant of Abraham. The Arabs. Arabs, okay. They are descended. Okay. And they, they they inherited that practice mm -hmm. and these rituals from Ibrahim. So, but so, they added few things to it. So basically you're trying to say, like, if today I stopped worshipping, uh, don't stop following Christianity, and if I started worshipping stones and all that things like other religion does, can I consider myself we Christian? We don't worship stones. No, no, I'm, I'm giving my example. I can't call myself. What we do as a Muslim with you is we take from you what is right and we leave what is wrong. How do you know which is right and which is wrong? Allah tell us. But what? But Allah told to Jews and Christian, my brother. Yeah, they have some good things. They yeah, I believe. Okay, yeah. Jews and Christian. What about the pagans? Because pagan is not Jews. They have some good things. What good things? How can God tell to follow pagans? I told you they have some good things, my friend. Not everything is wrong. They have. Okay, which is the good things? Pagan good things. Do. Like. Uh, like uh, Hajj, I told you, like so, Hajj. Hajj means? They learned it from Ibrahim. Okay, and what about the dressing style, the pagans? Yeah, no problem, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good okay. question, okay? okay. See you, yeah? See you next year, yeah. Thank you, Ralph Graham, Ralph, Ralph. So, I asked this brother, I showed him a reference from Sahih al-Bukhari where it says that Muhammad used to copy Jews, Christians and pagans. And uh, this, this Sayyid was saying that he dressed up very religiously and he was telling to other people that I dressed up like J Jesus. So I showed him a reference from Sayyid al-Bukhari where Muhammad used to copy the dressing style, the hairstyle of Jews, Christians and pagans. So if he's saying that he's copying J Jesus, he's not copying Jesus, he's copied from Muhammad and Muhammad copied it from Jews, Christians and pagans. So when I started asking him questions, he got a little bit irritated and he went off. That's it. Thanks. Yeah.